Imagine a moment where Singapore's founding leader, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew's final wishes are questioned, not just the words on paper but the very intentions behind them. This is the intriguing turn of events playing out over his last will. Mr. Lee's son, Lee Shen Yang, and his wife, Lee Suet Fern, are at the heart of an intense debate with the Singapore government, which claims that misleading actions influenced the will's final wording. But what if the evidence isn't as clear as it seems? And does this dispute shed light on the complexities of preserving a family legacy? 2230 delves into this issue with a critical look at every angle. In an article by Terry Shu from the Online Citizen, it was mentioned that recently, an unnamed government spokesperson alleged that both LHY and LSF lied under oath, presenting what was described as an elaborate edifice of lies regarding their role in the last will. This accusation raises questions about motives and misrepresentations, yet documents and email exchanges between LKY and his lawyer, Kuo Kim Lee, seem to support that LKY was fully aware of his wishes, especially concerning his Oxley Road home. Why would such detailed correspondence, on nearly every term in the will, be present if he was indeed misled? For instance, these emails indicate that LKY had spoken clearly about his intentions for the Oxley property, discussing its possible demolition and even potential gazettement. Further complicating the issue, Senior Minister T.E.O. Chi Heen recently shared documents in Parliament, suggesting that LHY and LSF tried to distance themselves from drafting the last will, attributing the work to KKL. But if LKY had clear conversations with KKL and expressed intent through these communications, was there really room for misleading? Stay with us as we look deeper into the government's perspective and weigh the implications of each party's actions. How might this debate over LKY's legacy affect Singapore's legal standards for family legacies and public transparency? This story may reflect deeper complexities within Singapore's ruling family and its political sphere. We'd love to know your thoughts. Does this detailed correspondence suggest LKY's clarity of mind, or do the government's claims hint at something more? Let us know in the comments. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth news from 2230, and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on any updates. What do you think Singapore's future holds in light of this legacy? We're looking forward to your thoughts and insights.